They claim to have evidence that they don't have. If they have evidence, it's evidence that the Capitol Police have. And I can tell you they don't have evidence because what they're claiming never happened. That was Representative Barry Loudermilk denying allegations that he did anything wrong when it comes to the tour that he gave a Capitol insurrectionist one day before the Capitol insurrection. And he's been so vehement about his innocence that some of his colleagues have not only defended him, but demanded apologies on his behalf. Now, in a segment on Laura Ingram's program on Fox News, him and Laura, they're both going to smugly declare that they've been proven right. And for some reason, mainstream media, lamestream media, they just keep lying and they keep saying that he's guilty when he very clearly has been vindicated by a Capitol Police officer who says actually what he did not that big of a deal. Take a look. And for over a year, Democrats suggested that congressional Republicans had led groups of visitors on so-called recon missions on the Capitol on January 5th, 2021. Remember that? Now, the implication was obvious that Republicans, elected officials, were in on the plot. They were insurrectionists themselves. Yes. Well, the smears all began just one week after January 6th. I was really shocked when I got into the, the House office building and saw these groups inside. There would be no tours allowed, even tours given by members. And so the only reason you'd have a visitor is on official business. So to see these groups around the Capitol complex was really striking. OK, that Mikey Sherrill needs to be thrown out of office. New Jersey, save yourselves. The charge then gained momentum around one particular congressman, George's Barry Loudermilk. What we're learning about Loudermilk is that he was part of a direct lie uh, to the public and perhaps to the committee. I think Loudermilk will probably take the Fifth Amendment. I mean, this guy's pants look like they're on fire. This is amount to a seditious conspiracy. Um, is this the kind of thing that might warrant the consideration of expulsion from the House of Representatives? Can always count on Charlie Psycho. Well, these comments were disgusting even before what we learned tonight. Louder milk, we find out, did nothing wrong. In a letter to House Administration Committee ranking member Rodney Davis, Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger wrote that officers had reviewed security footage and found no evidence that Louder Milk entered the Capitol with the group of constituents at all. But even after Louder Milk was exonerated, oh wait, he wasn't. He asked the Capitol Police to look into it. They did release a letter by from the uh, pol police chief, Tom Manger, that said that there was no evidence that Loudermilk was giving a tour of the Capitol building itself, but it didn't necessarily absolve him of any wrongdoing. Oh, my God. This is odious. Here now is the aforementioned Congressman Barry Loudermilk. Congressman, first of all, your reaction to the developments tonight, and you're cleared, but CNN says, oh, not so fast. Well, Laura, thanks for having me on, and and thanks for actually covering this. You know, just a, uh, three or four weeks ago, I find out about these accusations, not from a letter that the committee sent to me. No, they sent it to the press as I'm going to the airport, and then I'm seeing my picture on the television screens of all these passengers that are seeing that I'm some kind of strange conspiracy uh, or, or evil conspirator here. And it's just ridiculous that the way that they're handling this committee, and they keep moving the goalpost. You know, the original charge was we gave tours of the Capitol. There were no tours of the Capitol that day. Mm, I love it so much. I love the confidence there because um, today the January 6th committee tweeted out surveillance footage shows a tour led by Loudermilk to areas in the House office buildings as well as the entrances to Capitol tunnels. Individuals on the tour photographed recorded areas not typically of interest to tourists, hallways, staircases and security checkpoints. And this is the video. It has begun here at the Washington Monument, Washington, D.C. Say hello to Facebook. Hey, what's going on, man? Glad this to be a, here, bro. This is our fearless leader. Hey, baby. Daddy let's Hamilton. Go. Check out my flag I made, guys. You see it? There you go, baby. <laughs> That's for a certain person. That's right. That's for somebody, somebody special. Somebody special. <laughs> All right, we are basically at the Capitol. 
with probably close to two million true American patriots. They are swarming and converging mainly from Constitution Avenue, but from all routes in. There's no escape, Pelosi, Schumer, Nadler. We're coming for you. We're coming in like white on rice for Pelosi, Nadler, <laughs> Schumer, even you, AOC. We're coming to take you out. We'll pull you out by your hairs. How about that, Pelosi? Go, might as well make yourself another appointment. I'll get done with you. You're going to need a shine up on top of that bald head. <laughs> and for those listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, we're now watching footage of Representative Barry Loudermilk take this violent insurrectionist on a tour one day before the Capitol insurrection. Mm, seems like a nothing burger to me. The insurrectionist who filmed himself saying, we're coming to take you out, pull you out by your hairs, who you gave a tour to. No big deal. You were vindicated. Now, the reason why he believes that he's vindicated and why he and Laura Ingram were so smug and confident is because, as HuffPost explains, the Capitol Police said this week that the group's behavior in the Capitol complex did not raise security concerns, really. At no time did the group appear in any tunnels that would have led them to the U.S. Capitol. Capitol Police Chief Thomas Manger wrote in a letter to Representative Rodney Davis, the top Republican on the House Administration Committee. There is no evidence that Representative Loudermilk entered the U.S. Capitol with this group on January 5th, 2021, Manger wrote. We train our officers on being alert for people conducting surveillance or reconnaissance, and we do not consider any of the activities we observed as suspicious. Like other House Republicans, Laudermilk has refused to cooperate with the January 6th committee. He said the Capitol Police letter essentially cleared him of wrongdoing because he never gave a tour of the Capitol itself, just the House office buildings. Yeah, so it seems like the Capitol Police officer who supposedly vindicated Laudermilk is full of shit, and probably stupid as well. You watch for people who are casing the place doing reconnaissance i mean he was taking pictures of a fucking staircase he said that they're gonna go in there and they're going to pull out people like aoc by their hair but yet you claim that he wasn't with them and yet that's evidence that he was vindicated i mean am i going crazy are we supposed to honestly believe that this dude who was threatening violence and was there on january 5th was just taking photographs of the stairs because like he's an aficionado of stairs I, I mean come the fuck on we're adults here stop pretending that we're fucking stupid you're lying to us and as representative brandon doyle wrote via twitter this is the stairwell i take to my office in my eight years here i have never seen a tourist taking a picture of it yeah yeah no suspicious activity, though. He's been vindicated. Mm, the video says otherwise. Now, listen, he could prove all of us wrong. Loudermilk could prove everyone wrong by going on the record and testifying before the January 6th committee. But he refuses to do that. He's so confident that he's right and that he did nothing wrong, didn't aid and abet these insurrectionists, but yet he refuses to cooperate, refuses to go on the record. Why won't you go on the record? Is it because you're afraid that you're going to perjure yourself because evidence proves that you gave an insurrectionist a tour? 
And in response to that video, can you guess what he did? He doubled down yet again, saying via Twitter, the Capitol Police already put this false accusation to bed, yet the committee is undermining the Capitol Police and doubling down on their smear campaign, releasing so-called evidence of a tour of the House office buildings, which I have already publicly addressed. Okay, then testify under oath. You're very confident. You seem really, really confident that you did nothing wrong. Testify. Won't do that, right? Now, look, if he was smart and not a big fucking idiot, what he would do is say, all right, look, yes, I gave this person a tour. I did think it was a little bit weird that they were photographing stairwells. Yes, that was bizarre to me. But at the time, I hadn't connected the dots. I didn't know that this individual was threatening violence and would then be rioting the next day at this Capitol. So I feel bad that I unwittingly perhaps assisted him in this process, but I absolutely unequivocally denounced the actions of that day. He's not saying that. He's not giving us a reasonable explanation. He's just saying, nope, not suspicious at all. I gave this person who literally rioted in this building the day before the Capitol insurrection a tour, and yeah, he was being really sketched, taking photographs of fucking stairs, but yet I did nothing wrong. And I won't testify. I won't go on oath. I mean, Jesus Christ, when we're dealing with dishonest actors who are this shameless and brazen about their disregard for the truth and facts, how are we supposed to move forward as a society? I mean, th if there would have been some sort of uh, great awakening of the GOP, it would have come after January 6th, which is when they realized, oh my God, this has come too far. Our lies about the election have gone too far. This is what we've catalyzed with our rhetoric. But they won't do that. And even if they participated, they still, uh, you know, th there's video footage and they're still saying, nope, you're wrong. I'm right. You're on video, man. What do you want? What else do you want? I mean, when they deny video footage, they're telling you that it's raining as they piss on your legs. They're just shamelessly lying to you, and you're just supposed to accept that this is a smear campaign? I mean, these people are fucking shameless. When you acting like a beta, 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 beta.